I'm Abby, and today I'm here to teach you how to draw eyes, or more specifically, how I draw eyes. Eyes are one of my favorite things to draw. I was that kid growing up who, if there was any piece of paper and I had a writing utensil of any kind, I would draw an eye. That one iconic eye. That was me. But I was a little creative with it, which is part of what I'm going to show you today. I would add an eyebrow, creases, sometimes a nose, and I love changing the shape of the eyes to be unnatural for seasoning. If you aren't seasoning your art properly, how can you say you've cooked? Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. This is very beginner friendly. First, I'm going to walk you through a basic eye sketch, some simple coloring, and then I will show you other ways you can implement these skills. Okay, first I'd like to start with a circle. You can use the circle tool or freehand it, but if you want to draw an eye, you need the eyeball. Now that you have a circle, you want to draw the lids. I'm just going to draw the first ones that come to my mind. I like to think of the top lid as a big arch and the bottom lid as a slightly straighter line that connects to the top lid. Next, I like to add creases at the top of the eye because real eyes are three-dimensional and they have depth, so what isn't shown through the hole is popping up under the skin. Next, I do the eyelashes, and honestly, I go a little crazy with those. I make them longer near the end of the eye and also try to start at the eyelid, curving out slightly so you can see that there's depth. You can also add the aglet of the eye. I, I don't know what it's called. I don't want to look it up, but it's where the, the tear duct, I think it's the tear duct, where the lids meet in the front. And then we're going to add an eyebrow. I like to start with some random free strands at the front and then make a general eyebrow shape where the hair flows together. My strokes are intentional here. Time for the pupil. The pupil is important. If you notice, the pupil also generally has some white in it or a shine where the light hits it. And instead of adding that later, I like to move around where it would be and save myself some time. And here we go. We have what I would consider to be a pretty decent eye. I'm going to clean up my sketch a little bit and then do the line art. Okay, now that we have cleaner line art, we will power through a simple coloring. For the white of the eye, you color with white and shade it with a light gray. For the eye, pick a color, use it. Then on the top, use a darker shade and on the bottom, use a lighter tint. Pick a skin color, shade around the eye with darker shadows along the creases, and lighter highlights where the light would hit. I also love to add random white highlights in the eye after the fact so it pops more, and you can easily elevate this by taking an airbrush over all the colors, and boom, you're done! Look at that, you drew an eye. Good job! Now I am going to draw like six more of these, and you can see all the different changes you can make. You can add things like eye bags below if your character is super tired, you can change how closed or open the eye is, change the creases accordingly, you can also add a nose or a nose line, it can come from the eyebrow and sometimes loops around under the eye, you can add freckles, moles, you can make the pupil unnatural shapes that people don't have, use whatever color you want. The eye is your oyster. That is all I have to tell you for now. I hope you found this enjoyable or maybe educational. I don't think I explained anything that well, but that's okay. Thank you for watching. Here is some art I made, and I hope you have a wonderful future.